Hello, dear viewer. I'm Sus, and welcome back. Well, not welcome back to you. You've probably been waiting. Welcome back to me. I'm finally back after my holiday. I'm sorry about August. I was p away for pretty much the whole of August, away having fun on holiday. More about that later. And um, I've uh, had a bit of trouble getting back started again in, in the start of September. I've been very busy. But anyway, I thought the best way to get started is go with the old classic, as some viscera cleanup detail. Now I was going to play, but there's no new levels that I haven't, I haven't recorded yet. Uh, we have some Car Thief levels, and it has been suggested by at least one or two of you to play um, the Underground Research Facility level by Car Thief, but that one is absolutely huge. So a bit later on maybe, I want to ease myself back into it. So we're going to start with an early one by Car Thief called Domestic Disaster. did not say anything over here at all. Let's get, let's get in there and we will see what it's all about. Any second now. Come on, game. There we go. Name Lisa, age 45. Occupation, sanitation professional. Brief. Due to a pro gang... Pro... Uh, that's a good start, isn't it? Getting back into the old swing of saying things without fluffing them. <laughs> Due to a programming error in the latest batch of domestic droids, their AI glitched and caused a un rather unsettling desire to murder every human in sight. That is unsettling. It is your task to clean up the droids and... Well, clean up the, the, the droids, I guess, and the mess. Clean up the droids and the result of their wanton slaughter as to ensure the client's reputation remains unharmed. Is it really wanton? I mean, I, I, it depends on what the droids wanted to do. They may, may have a defi very defined <laughs> urges about what they want to do to the humans. They had a definite plan. They weren't just going about these things without thinking about it. Uh, discretion is of utmost importance. Failure to remain discreet will most likely result in job termination. That's remarkably su um, subtle. For, well, not subtle, but gentle from this sort of company. Usually they, they're going to terminate me. Anyway, let's get in here. Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay, so this is um, this is a level that was presumably made... Sorry, calm down the swinging. Calm down the swinging me. There we go. Um, made soon after Revolutionary Robotics came out. And it will feature a whole bunch of things, such as, you know... People. Oh, that was unexpected. I didn't think it was going to do that, actually. It's a block. What is this, then? Are they like fuses? What is it? Apparently there is a puzzle somewhere in here. I don't know what that is, though. Looks like a fuse box. And uh, st Calm down with the swinging. Uh, that is a dead body. This is um, Jacques, Jacques Anderson. Sorry, Jack. You're dead, mate. It's nice. Oh, I like that. Look, that's good, isn't it? Usually these seats have got very, really bad um, bases on them. It's got a nice little swing base on there. Very good. And some terrible art. We know we can walk through here. And that usually means... Yeah, there's a busted turret up here, look. I wonder if the, I wonder if the turrets were also... Um, there's two of them. Great. I wonder if the turrets were also... Uh, um, going crazy as well. I guess they were, as well as the domestic droids. I guess you can have domestic home defence, as well as domestic cleaning and everything else. Oh dear. Yeah, I think... So this lot have been mowed down. Presumably they were heading out, weren't they? They were heading towards the exit. And they've been mown down by the... Um, oh, what's through here? Been mown down by the, by the guns. Is this like a service area over here? Like, um... It's not the main part of the house. Open up, please. Oh dear, look at... Oh, there's a knife in the back. I guess it's one of the little fellas. You know, the little, the little droids are walking around. Oh, it's a living room. I saw the... Pa I didn't think these walls looked very... Look very home-like. You know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of Fallout. That's what it makes me think. It makes me think like a vault. There's these sofas and these strange touches of home in, in within metal walls. Perhaps, perhaps we're in an underground facility somewhere. Maybe it's a test facility. I mean, if you're going to test domestic droids that might go crazy, I think you want to test them somewhere where they can go as crazy and cause minimum harm. Well, that's purple stuff over there. Do I have to get this out of the way? Can I actually move a table? Wow, I'm a lot more buff than I remember. Okay, I'll have to do that a bit later, maybe. We're still looking around at the moment. We're, we're looking around stage. Look, look around. Yeah, what does that go? Is that, oh, it's just a reflection. I, I was getting a strange optical illusion now. I thought I was seeing through a hole. It's just a shine. What's over here? Loads of doors. It's quite a, quite a big place, but not too big. Nice planty bits. Oh. So, has, has people barricaded themselves in what they've done? Is this the same room as the other bit? Is it the same room? 
I can't get this out of the way though. How do I get this out of the way? I guess if I can't get through, the droids couldn't get through. That might be the same room. I'm, I'm, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't know. Here on the little, little, uh, what's it? Who finished you off then? Who did for you? You little stabby? Huh? What's this? The vents! What, the robots are in the vents? I don't think the robot's that small, are they? Oh, they've got little cleany, dusty robots. My mouse is playing around again. Bit a bit glitchy. Okay. The tanks and things. This isn't this isn't very home-like. Oh, it's a medical facility. I mean, was that a single apartment over there? There was no toilet in there, was there? I don't think it was a single apartment. It must be a house, wasn't it? I mean, it's a... It's a oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> picked up... Picked up by the throat and stabbed for the chest. Look, there's, there's the furnace. Okay. Good number of furnaces. Someone's dissembled this one. Presumably some hero has come round and stomped this lot. There really, what's this say? Oh, there's nothing on it. I quite like that though. I like the the uniqueness of that. The lounge. So it is a house. Oh it's a space oh it's a space house. Well that explains everything. You just make it a space thing and it, it, you can do what you like. That explains all the tanks and things everywhere. It's um there's a camera up there. Is it slowly panning around? It is slowly panning around. Cool. Um, yeah, it was like a. Again, again, if you were gonna gonna have droids, you're gonna you're gonna test and see what they're going to do. Are they gonna behave themselves? Do it in even more, but even better, do it in space. Do it do it somewhere out of the way where they where they um, they can do even less harm. So okay, there's the there's the. Have we, have we seen the bin dispenser yet? There's the bin dispenser. There's the bucket dispenser. We know where the furnace is. It looks like we're gonna be working. We're going to be cleaning this central corridor and then spreading out from here. Storage. Yeah, everything it is a bit like a vault. It's like a space vault. That's what it is. Everything you need. Do you get chopped in half by the door? No. Okay, that's no, a clock door. I thought for a second his head was on the other side because someone had stuck him in the door and closed it. Another storage here. I think we've done enough poking around, haven't we, really? We can get started. Pretty much. I think we can get started. Yeah, it's... Uh, so, okay, so, yeah. Work out from the central corridor, because we've got a nice little nexus here. Where's my dirty footprints? Where, oh, another pad. Where we can we can slowly spread out. Where was the chicken... Checking it out? Well, I'll worry about that later. Yes, yeah, so if we work from here... I mean, these this guy's just itching to be chucked straight in the... in the old... Uh, Furnace here. There you go. Ah, oh, I'm getting back into it already. I don't know why I couldn't get started with the videos, but I couldn't. I, I, I sort of wanted to, but I, I don't know. I've been doing all sorts. Of I've been playing scrap mechanic with my youngest. What is wrong with my mouse? I'll go and sort that out in a minute. I think before we go much longer. And um, I've been playing a bit of Fallout 3. You know, an old game that I hadn't played for ages. Not that I mean Fallout 3 is an old game. It is an old game, I guess, to some people's views, but just because it's an old save. I hadn't finished the one of the DLCs. So I've been doing stuff like that, and I haven't been playing... I haven't been playing um, this. And of course I wouldn't play it unless I was recording it. Because you do... It, for me to be... Me to be playing something like Scrap Mechanic or whatever else, and not recording is fairly unusual. You you get you guys get my free time, by the way. You, this is what you see when you see a video by me. It's um it's what I'm doing in in the in the free time that I've got. Because in case you don't know me, because you're a new viewer or something like that, uh, I'm I'm a dad and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an older player and I'm usually busy. I'm busy doing doing work and home stuff. Not as busy as I could be, I guess. <laughs> I guess I could be more busy and, <laughs> and do less of the recording, but I don't. This is what I do in my free. This is my. This is my fun. This is my amusement. This is my. What do other dads do? This is my going to the going to the gym. This is my going to the football match. This is um. This is me. I don't know. Gardening. I do gardening as well. This is this is what I do to amuse myself. My hobby. I guess you could call it a hobby. I'm not exactly. Doing this professionally, I might be. You know what I mean? Anyway. Good stuff. It looks like a nice little level, anyway. A little bit shocked by the... Uh, not shocked, but... That that old, uh, exciting, slightly worrying feeling of, of going into a, a room and you're thinking, 
oh my goodness, how much am I going to clean? How am I going to clean this? I had that with that room, the sort of lounge room over there, the one that's got a good view onto space. That one there, I was thinking, oh my god, the size of this. Um, that's going to be very difficult to deal with. But there you go. It's it's a. Uh, I say it's it's a it's a uh, it's an excited. It's a feeling. Whoa, goodness! It's a it's a feeling of trepidation. That's, that's the best description. What? Uh, I have to watch out for these floors, you know, because they've got this ridge. They've got this ridge here, which is going to cause problems. I was going to put you lot in here anyway. Now and I'll, I'll, I shall go ahead and do that. So yeah, slight feelings of trepidation about this level, but it'll be it'll be fine. I'm sure. It's got. Um, it's not one where. Well, I haven't seen a lift yet. I know the I know the most recent level by Car Thief, the um, the underground facility, whatever it's called. Research facility. That one has a lift in it as well, and anti gravity and all sorts of things. And it's over multiple floors. And I was just li literally reading it a few minutes ago the description of it, and it's. Um, it's uh, it's a bit worrying when you start doing multiple floors and you've got a limited number of places for for getting things like the the, the furnace. That adds a whole level of complexity, and if it says it's going to take five hours to complete <laughs> doing a level, I told you not to do that, didn't I? Me. Put it on the, put it in the middle. Then uh, it's gonna it's gonna take me like ten hours. What was the longest one I ever did? Any any ideas? Lo loyal. Loyal regular viewers. Um, he's unopened, do they? No. A little bit off centre, sadly. Look, look at that. That's a bit of a shame. I guess they've only got one orientation, but look, the handles don't match up. Picky, I know, but there you go. Yeah, what was the longest one I ever did? Probably. Um, let's go get a bucket for the for the PIDs. Probably the House of Hell, I'd imagine, but I'm not sure. That was a long one, but maybe I don't know. A lot of episodes. I try not to go too crazy. There we go. Right, I think what I'm going to do... Who's this? Timothy Meng! Here you go, Tim. Little Timmy. An unnamed droid here. What I need to do... Yuri Spiff. There you go, Yuri. I... Uh, it's a nice little look at the level to start off with. I'm going to go and get some new batteries for my mouse. And also I'm making dinner at the same time. So I need to go and check on dinner. So I'm sure I've not... It's not going to be carbon for dinner for the kids. And I'll go to it and I'll bring you back in a minute. On a slightly less glitchy mouse, hopefully. Oh, we have some bullet holes here. So whoever came in to clear this up. Show me whatever emergency strike team they had as... as um, ready to go in case of any problems. Have been the ones that cleared things up, but it, it looks like it. No one got here particularly fast. I mean, no one got here fast enough to stop the whole, the whole, the whole uh, shebang going uh, going south. I mean, what? Do you, I guess they are out in space. Maybe, maybe they didn't have the the strike team ready to go. It must have been very global, must it? It must have been something central for these robots for them to all to go crazy at the same time. That the auto defences and the droids and everything else. I mean, it was... I guess you've only seen the little guys so far, haven't we? The little freaky what's this over there, like, like these, this, this guy here, and the cannons. I don't, we've not seen the T, T-1000, whatever they're called, uh, Terminator-type droids, and we've not seen any of the big killer droids. These literally are just domestic droids. The ones for cleaning and sweeping and being a Jeeves for you, essentially. So it must have been something central. You'd think they, they must have some awesome central processing unit. Well, that is the great fear, isn't it, of, of people having... of us getting more more robots in society? You know, they may all go crazy and try to kill us. Not really a problem right now. I mean, I can't which roboticist said it, but someone, one of them said, uh, you know, the, the greatest the greatest defence against robots now really is, is things like stairs, small steps, corners. You know, <laughs> they're, not the, they're not the most mobile things in the entire world. Especially when I try and make humaniform ones. But there you go, that's fine. We're in a we're in a future space sitting here so we can we can get away with more stuff. Oh look, there's a vent there. Didn't someone wrote something about the vents, didn't they? They said the vents. So that maybe they have been maybe that's what these guys have been doing. I mean horribly claustrophobic for a 
for you or I, I'm sure. But if you're a droid, you don't care about that sort of stuff, do you? So, um, by the way, they've not done a very good job of clearing up, have they? They've done a good job of murdering things, but there's mess over there. They've not even finished clearing up. Maybe it was the amount of mess that drove them around the bend. Maybe they just couldn't take any more of normal human behaviour. I'm leaving a goddamn mess everywhere, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, if you're a droid, you could you could easily crawl through the vents, couldn't you? Burn yourself into unusual positions to get around the vents and scuttle around. You could hear them, you could hear them rattling and scraping around the vents. As you know, they're coming for you. There must have been a bit of time. There, there was a bit of time between... Um, so let's see, what, what's, what's probably the course of events here? Some people barricaded themselves in, and some people ran for the door, didn't they? This is who did this? This is completely splatted. This is not. This is taken apart. This is not stabbed and left in a corner. This is this is torn to pieces. What caused this? An explosion? Is she torn apart by robots? What do you say? Who are you? Who are you, sir, madam? Monty Gorm. You know what happened, didn't you, Monty? You're still in one piece. Which either means you were just before or just after the events. Maybe you came along to find what the robots were doing. Maybe the humans were being a bit slobby. They'd, they'd, they'd got up in the morning, they'd not had a shower. Well, they'd had a shower and tracked watery, soapy footprints down the corridor. Because they're not dressed properly. Wandering back to get their <laughs> to get their clothes from their room, towel wrapped around their waist. And the robots couldn't take any more, you know? He'd just been clearing out crisp packets and bottles. And he finally flipped! Flipped his little sil silicon chips. And decided to, um, take them apart entirely. Don't know. What am I doing here? Let's use this bucket up, shall we? We'll put some we'll put some organs and stuff in here. Yeah, anyway, so CSI time. We've uh, we've got people who ran for the door. So that means, okay, the robots have gone nuts and started doing horrible things. Some people have gone, let's run for the door. And then they discovered to their cost that the turrets were um, were also part of the AI and have also gone crazy. Notice the fact, of course, that the, the turrets... I mean, you see how fast those things turn. They could kill you... They could kill you very fast. Spin around and kill you. But the people were all shot in the back, weren't they? So, in other words, either turrets waited until they were nearly out the door, which is sadism. You've nearly escaped. Oh, no, you haven't. You know, that kind of idea. Or, it was the, the central... Uh, the central brain, mother brain, that was in charge of the charge of all the AIs, has suddenly realised, oh, they're making a run for it, quit, use the turrets, and kill them. Anyway, so that's happened. And then the last people have gone, well, hell, we're not going to, we, we're, we're going to have to sit tight until rescue comes. So, best choice, quick, barricade ourselves in our rooms. And that was pretty tough barricades, wasn't it? We couldn't get through there. I guess if you were you're determined enough, and the little droids aren't too strong. I mean, they've torn people apart, but there you go. Uh, they're not too strong. Then you could, you could say you could maybe hold out in there. You know, get a couple of strong people to barricade it up. When the little little what sits poke their heads over the top, give them a good smack or something, whatever you got appropriate. Doesn't appear to be any weapons around here, does there? I presume all the bullet holes are from the the cleanup team. Anyway, so then uh, that's when. The droids go, oh ho, ha ho, oh ho, ho, ho. I, I, I don't know why I said somebody else. <laughs> I don't know. Got a little carried away there. <laughs> oh ho, let's, um, let's crawl through the vents and we can sneak up behind them. So even people barricaded in their rooms were, were got eventually as well. That's my, that's my idea about it. Whether you agree with it or not, I don't know. There we go. Um, where's my bucket with, um, IDs and why is there a blood splatter still there when I'm clearly mopping here? Go, look, I see you there, look there. You're right there. Go away. Go away. You're not wanted. Where is that splatter coming from? Or is it just a scrap rust mark? It doesn't quite look like a blood splatter, does it? Well, you know, I'm not going to worry about it now. We will. We will deal with it later. We will, um. We'll come back to it in the sniffing area. I'm not, not going to worry about that too much. That's me. You know, how have you been doing? How's your summer been? 
I said to someone the other day, um, might be new, silent. <laughs> now summer's over. You had summer's still going. Well, you know, it isn't as it been particularly sunny, sunny around here. And it feels like summer's over. I like September. September's one of my favourite months. And in the, in Britain, the weather is exactly what I want usually. For, oh goodness, what was that? In September, um, you know, it's usually a little bit of rain, but it's mostly dry. Not too hot. Still dry though. Nice warm winds. And of course, this year hasn't been anything like that. But it's usually what September is to me. And oh goodness, I think it's the I think it's load on the on the on my parole network. All the kids are on. Um, one of them's one of them's on the iPad. One of them is on playing Dead by Daylight. And <laughs> we got today. And another one is probably watching videos. I don't, he wasn't he wasn't hunched over the computer when I looked in his room, so I guess he's uh, he's watching rather than rather than playing. And I think you're just getting lag spikes here because of that. Ooh. It's not the best time of day to be doing this. Right. Get the, these flowers. That looks very nice. I don't suppose I can move that, can I? No, I can't. I don't want. I wouldn't want to put that in an incinerator anyway. There you go. So yes, maybe maybe to your view, summer is not quite over yet. It feels a bit like it here. But if it was a, I hope your summer was good anyway. I hope you, whatever you did for August, if you did anything, it was fun. Oh dear. Oh, have you? How have you been? Well, you've just been simply slammed against the um, the table there. Smacked into it. Bashed your little bonce against it. There we go. That's not bad. We're doing all right. We've cleared up this little area already. So, I don't think I'm going to go much further into... Because that's the lounge behind me, isn't it? I think it was. I'm doing my usual looking but not seeing. Let's have a run over there. I think that's the lounge though, in which case it is. It's a bit too messy in here, I think. And... I'm just not, there's a lot of bodies in here, I seem to remember. From the initial look. A few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of bits. There's a lot of bits in here. So let's not go to the lounge yet. Uh, what's the next best bet? We can get under storage, or we can head back this way. I think I want to look at, I want to look at the barricades, so I think we're going to head back this way. And, um... Get another. Oh, Milton's here again. I can hear the jingling in the... in the vents. That's a weird sound effect. Oh, here we go. We've got a data pad. That's good. Commander Smith. Mission brief. Your mission is to eliminate the domestic droids that have gone bad. Gone bad? Uh, bad and massacred the station's population. Reports show they've hijacked the station's sentry turrets. And as such, will regard you as hostile. So, thread... That's treat. Thread with caution. Spell check, please. Spell check, please, Carthy. Fortunately, the security office has been locked, which should prevent them from obtaining weapons. The bad news is they can still smuggle out knives and explosives for the vents. Ah, and that's why there's a body bit of it, because they exploded somebody. Okay, we might have some dynamite in the storage areas. Watch out for that. Um, Commander Smith. Who do you reckon that is? I know a few Smiths. Well, this is actually the first Smith that springs to mind. He's a comic book Smith, and definitely not one... Yeah, almost certainly one, not one that would be... Um, win this. Too obscure. An old 2000 AD comic reference. Yeah, not that one. Okay. But that was, that was nice. I don't, I don't think about Commander Smith. It's a bit bit of a generic name. Maybe it's not pointing to anybody. Maybe Carthy wasn't trying to do anybody in particular. Just put a name in there. Any heroic Smiths you can think of? Let me know. Another blank screen. Screen! Good stuff. Yeah, we'll come on down here. Oh, we could, we could take a detour. We'll take a detour in the med station. Because I reckon, come on light, I reckon that that's going to be a dead end, and therefore easy cleaning. Easy cleaning possibility. Just knock a bullet around. I did, didn't I? Damn it. In the vents. Written with your own blood. Never understood that. Why would you write something, a message with your own blood? Oh, so you wrote it, wrote it on the wall. I mean, in, in Da Vinci Code, at least the chap, does he write it in blood? I think he writes it in blood. He writes it on the floor, doesn't he? He leaves a, leaves a scrawled message, plus being his own blood, on the floor. 
Right at the start, Da Vinci Code. The film, not the book. They're damn silly books anyway, but there you go. Uh, but just remembering it at the start. That makes a bit more sense. You're lying there, you're bleeding out, you're lost, you're gasping, you can't even move. So you just manage to scrawl on the floor with your hand. But this chap over here, felt energetic enough to write it on the wall with his own blood and then slump down next to it. <laughs> Maybe someone else wrote it with his blood. What do I use? I've not, I've not got a pen or a marker handy. Poor old... Who's this? What's his name? Who's this? Oh dear! Oh dear! I'm really sorry. Poor old Igor Piazzi is laying, laying here. Poor old Igor. We can, we can, he wouldn't mind. We'll make use of him. <laughs> I'll write a message. Quick message on the way past. In his own blood. In his blood. In someone else's blood. Watch out, they're in the vents. Why not? Is there blood up there? No. Nothing's stuck to the ceiling. Car thief is sneaky. You gotta remember that. He doesn't like to hide things in 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 uh, what do you call them? In uh, in cupboards and things. I've seen less cupboards than in the last level. This is an older this is an older level, as far as I know, compared to um, what was the last one called that I played? Can't remember. The Forge one. The Forge. That was it. Older than the Forge, but we hadn't done so much with cupboards. I mean, we're watching, we're we're watching them playing Car Thief levels here, but Car Thief, of course, is a is a person who's learning as well and and increasing their skills and their knowledge of designing levels and what you can do and what you can get away with. And every time you do it, become faster. So I guess you know maybe maybe using and making cupboards is a more recent more recent thing for him. I don't know. Um, but anyway. And but when I when I say he, he's sneaky, what I really mean is he put some stuff in quite a few things in cupboards before, and I oh god, and I couldn't find the laser because I'm an idiot. There's two hidden in the level, and I didn't find either of them. <laughs> and therefore, it's all somebody else's fault. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> of course, it's not my fault. How, how can it be my fault? 